Joining us to weigh in on the HCG diet is endocrinologist Dr. Kent Holtorf, who is a proponent of using HCG for weight loss. And on the con side of the HCG debate is endocrinologist Dr. Katja Van Hurley. And also here is celebrity nutritionist and homeopathy expert Samantha Grant. Let's start with you, Dr. Holtorf. And what we have found HCG to be effective for a good percent of people for weight loss. And while nothing works for everyone for weight loss, because we're uh, evolutionary, we have, we're very successful at storing fat. That's why we're, you know, we're, we're, we're survived. But we find it's, it's useful and another uh, tool for, for weight loss. We also find that people can stay on diets better. It seems to reduce appetite, increase energy, increase sense of well-being. S studies have shown that. Again, double bond. Well, I have to actually disagree studies. with you on that because really there are, most of the studies show that that's inconclusive, that it actually does show that it decreases on its own weight loss and that it decreases hunger as well. And we don't really, and it can actually cause an increased risk of thromboembolic um, events as well, so blood clots, and there's actually many people have had, you know, um, embolisms on it as well. So I'd like to hear from Dr. Katya. Um, Lisa, thank you. And I really respect what you're talking about, but I, I actually disagree with a lot of it. The reason I disagree is because as an endocrinologist, we do see that HCG is a very important hormone. It does raise, raise progesterone. It raises testosterone. So in men and women, there is some concern that you actually can promote tumors. Now, do no harm is the first thing that we learn in medical school. That's the Hippocratic Oath. When you give somebody a hormone that actually can do that, you potentially are doing harm. FDA has not approved this for weight loss, and the reason is, is because studies show it doesn't make a difference. Right. The FDA has only approved it right now for fertility. So now yes. you get into the other reason I think it's really, really dangerous, and that is pocketbook cost. This sounds like a scam because a lot of these say that for 26 days straight, you're going in for daily injections. I can't imagine how much that costs, and there is no good the solid. It's not only a scam; is it could be potentially harmful for your health. But I'll just tell you, I wouldn't prescribe well, it for any of my patients. But Dr. some people can. Yes, and some doctors will. But some people can actually get this online. And there's a homeopathic line of HCG, and we have our, our homeopathic specialist here to weigh in on that. As a nutritionist and a homeopath. I support the prescription HCG. Believe me, I, if anyone would use and support the homeopathic drops, I would. But what I see happening is really what you pointed to about a lot of people being scammed and spending hundreds of dollars on homeopathic HCG that <clears throat> frankly doesn't work. $700 a month. I mean, that's yeah. crazy. I don't know. It's $40 a month is what HCG costs. So I don't know, okay. you know where they're going for these. Well, you know, and, and we oh, actually no. tested this, and, um, you know, it's a homeopathic mm -hmm. version of the HCG, and there is very little, if any, HCG in this bottle. And that's and how think, it's supposed to be, right? As a homeopathic remedy. As a remedy, homeopathic preparation, really yes. The other thing is the rebound. I think it's really critical because what we see is once you stop, guess what? Everyone rebounds and gains weight. But I will give my opinion on this here and now, and you will find, just as you, we disagree about different things, that the HCG diet um, needs a lot more testing before anyone should be on it because I think it has the potential to cause cancers and things like that because as I started to state at the beginning, HCG is a real hormone that does a lot of things, affects a lot of systems in a woman's body as well as a man's, and you really need to have it studied long term before you just try and use it as a diet medication. Again, a lot of different opinions. Thank you all for joining us today. Thank you.